Uh, this tutorial is only for the Fast and the Furious crowd, right? So let's say you've got your uh, super modded out whatever it is with an enormous like muffler tip on the back side like that, okay? So you're going to want to render this out for your Subaru or whatever you're driving, okay? So this is the giant muffler tip chrome cannon thing coming out of the back of your car. So it's important to make sure you render this as perfect as possible. All right, so here's what I would do. Uh, first, I would just kind of outline, uh, this is a basic cylinder. You're going to render it chrome. So it's going to be like a giant cylindrical mirror. So what I would do is get my black pencil and, uh, whoops, that's not black. Just go over the part where it comes out the back. And then uh, also I could hint a little bit that we'll come back. We're gonna do that with chalk. We'll come back to that. But first thing, like any mirror substance, we gotta imagine that it exists on some sort of plane. So I'm gonna put the horizon line right here at the middle, like that. And then just add a little bit of depth around like that. Then what I'm going to do is get some kind of um, black shading going on here and uh, bring some of that down. And then also at the very bottom, bring some of that up. Now at the very top is our sky, so we're going to want to render this in like sky blue. And actually, this, now is a good point, good time to get to our... Um, chalk so I've got my big thing of chalk here and I'm gonna find a nice dark blue and get my blade and get some of that blue out get my handy dandy toilet paper and roll that up like that get some of that on and then blend on some of this blue on the top of the muffler like that look at that BAM Okay, then I'm going to get my eraser and uh, just get rid of those parts where I overdid it, like that. And then maybe lighten it up just a little. Sometimes I like to put some streaks in too, like clouds. But we can also go in and do that with our white pencil. So that makes it look cool and fast. Alright, same thing for the bottom. Let's get our brown. And uh, I'm just going to take some brown and shave off a little bit get my towel or my uh, toilet paper here don't judge me and scoop some of that on and start here render that out like that all right then I'm gonna get my black transition that a little same thing with white transition that down now I'm actually going to shave some black uh, on there as well for the depth of the uh, the muffler area. So get that, put it on here. Now I'm going to do this. Now this would help a lot if I had the right tool. I'm using toilet paper because I ran out of my regular Weebrel pads. But uh, anyway, let's just go with this. I know it's sloppy. Anyway, so we've got our can in there. We're gonna go in now and start adding some of this depth in here like this. Let me get my black. I'm actually going to add some down here. Then I'm going to get my warm gray. Just throw down some hints at some texture down here. So that's the basics of the uh, of the colors. Now we're going to get in our white paint, pop some of these highlights.
we're going to put one nice strong dot right on that horizon line like that remember your gouache you're mi mixing it 50% uh, paint 50% water then we're going to put a little bit of a hints up here then we're going to put some hints down here and now the most important part right at the cusp of this turny part up here where the cylinder is at the very top hitting the sunshine we're going to want to add some pop there like that and down at the bottom part too like that and then we can add some little dots like that. Alright, so we've got a pretty reflective shiny cannon muffler. Now it's up to you if you want to add smoke and stuff like spewing out of it like Fast and the Furious or whatever. Anyway, there you go. There's a quick uh, muffler tutorial. It's up to you to finish the rest. Alright, ciao.